The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the April 27th, magical Monday edition of Hour 2. For me, hour one of the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and hope that you're off to a great start of your day. Way better than the start of my day when my entire internet system went down, then the system went down. But hey, we're back up and running. I've got the band-aids out, so we're ready to roll. And let's make sure that you and I, no matter what, that we do everything we can to have an extraordinary Monday. Of course, I always tell you that things happen for us, not to us. We'll figure out what that for us is with my uh, system going down, but it's out there. And let's always remember what's talked about is a dream. What's envisioned? Well, it's darn right exciting. Of course, what's planned becomes possible, but what's scheduled is real. And I really want to thank you for scheduling your time with me here this morning. I'm honored by your presence, and I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Of course, internationally, you can call us at 727-445-1044. That way, you and I, we can go on a safari. We can go looking for bulls and berries. Remember, if you've got a question... Many other people have that question as well. Same question. So go ahead. Call in for them. A little random act of kindness is what it's all about. That's the way to kickstart your day, especially on Magnificent Monday. This is Tiger Financial Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now we got the Dow trading up 65 points. She's trading at 18,145. S&P is up 7, trading at 2124. You've got the uh, Composite up 25 points, trading at 5117. Russell is up about 8 points, trading at 1275. The DAX on fire this morning uh, up 220 points the FTSE up 42 gold's up 20 bucks after getting hammered on uh, Friday uh, it's doing the unhammering you got silver up 58 cents as we speak right now light sweet crude that's up 42 pennies lead to charge the upside out here we've got Priceline Priceline up 14 bucks up a little over 1% Tesla up 6% up $13 this morning Netflix up 7 bucks uh, Baidu up $5 uh, Chipotle up 4 to the downside we've got uh, Acorn Inc that's off 19%, down 11 bucks. Hope nobody out there is a holder of ticker symbol AKRX. Celadon Corp. This one is off 10 bucks. That's a real nasty move to the downside. That's down 80% this morning. On a, I believe, on a uh, <coughs> release of a bad phase uh, in one of their trials out there. So, uh, Os Osi Systems Inc. That's down 8%. OSIS is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, Emerge Energy Service, it's uh, continuing to emerge to the downside, down about 7% off $3 out there. All right, so where do, where do we get started? I've just got my system really back up and running out here. So uh, we're going to go through this show here kind of like I would just to get a pace, a pulse on what's going on inside the market. So first place I like to start with is what's going on inside the currencies, currency pairs. Because why? Because currencies rule the world out here. They certainly rule the world, the world here of the S&P 500 of our market. So we're going to step in. We're going to take a look at the euro Japanese yen. We can see it is uh, traded off of the uh, low out here. It was testing a swing point well on march 13th that did it for about three or four sessions back into the low was actually put on april 14th rejected that swing point couldn't bust it down now what it's doing it's moving up to the top of this little sideways range that says that uh, the euro ought to the euro japanese yen ought to get up to the uh, maybe the highs of march 18th right around 131.74 if in fact that happens you'll see continued energy and fuel into the market you know because this is the carry trade so we've got to understand momentum wise everything Thing wise what's going on inside that currency pair so there that signal is uh, moved to the upside out there and that's what we're seeing our markets do as we speak right now that's the first place that I would check in second place that's worthwhile to check in uh, let's go I didn't get to do it to do it this morning obviously because we were uh, because I was uh, because somebody was trying to tinker with my uh, internet service and uh, it was more than just a tinker um, in any event it's take a look at the I want to see what's going on inside the futures contracts because there's really important messages that are out here really important message with regard to where the markets are headed to that is if you believe that the trend is your friend that is if you believe in uh, sideways action when you break through consolidations that 
until you get back into that consolidation, you've got a, a real breakout that's underway out here. That is, if you believe in the A to B equals CD uh, patterns that are out there. There's plenty to for us to each take a look at out here. So let's start off by taking a look at these four futures contracts. We've got the dailies out here. The upper left is the Russell 2000. In the upper left, what you can see is a nice little rising price channel. Price have been traveling nicely along. Well, really, the uh, bottom, it's obviously hit the top of that price channel. Right now, we're seeing the Russell 2000 trade above 1270.30. Why is that important? Because that, in essence, has been a level of contention. That has been a level of resistance. That brought to us by, and thank you, John Logan, for jumping in and filling in during that uh, first hour when my system was shutting down. Of course, I was listening to him on my cell phone. I at least had the cell phone going so I could hear what was going on in the show. And it sounded like he was also having a few uh, uh, technical issues out there. Nonetheless, we're a team out here. Then, of course, we had uh, Tom call in to uh, just save us all. So we got to love that. In any event, right now, the key level today, 1270.30. Now, there's really a couple levels out here. The Russell 2000, the top of its swing point, happens to be the trading session of April 15th, 1277.20. I don't consider that to be as much of the hurdle as being able to close above that resistance level of that, that TAS market profile, 1270.30. Nonetheless, there's nothing here that says short the Russell 2000 price continuing to travel in the uh, rising price channel. Go down to the lower left. The lower left, what are you going to see? Oh, well, I can expand this up on my chart for you. But it is nice to really have one snapshot, one picture where you see everything out here. But let me go ahead. I'll expand up on the, uh, no, nah, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to leave it like this. When we take a look at the lower left, because we're in HD, so we can do this type of stuff here at uh, Tiger TV. And we take a look at the uh, Dow, at the I'm sorry, the Russ, at the ES Mini out here, the S and P futures. What I showed was a 75-point consolidation range between 2033 and 2108. One could argue that really the top of the swing point from February 25th was the uh, number for us to take a look at. And I'm with you there. But look, we're above both those levels. So right now, what we know that we have going on is we've got a nice little breakout of that sideways consolidation. Consolidation. All you have to do is add 75 points to 2108. And that's going to give you your measured move price pro uh, projection out there. And all that you and I can do is call the markets as we see them right now. Look, at uh, 10 to 1015, at 1016, there could be an earthquake. You know, those poor folks that are... Uh, struggling, uh, you know, all across the uh, all across the uh, world out there. You know, how about those folks that are stranded on Mount Everest? You know, they've got earthquakes, they've got uh, avalanches, and look at any point in time, an earthquake can strike, an avalanche, and the same thing can take place inside the market. But what you got to do is you got to go with the information that you've got. And right now, the information that we have: Russell 2000 breaking above resistance, holding its rising price channel. The ES Mini uh, moving above uh, long-term consolidation pattern out here, breaking above that giving us a 75 point move how about the dow the dow futures upper right hand side of my screen out here the dow futures have been sort of a weak link sort of a weak link i say because it really looks like we're looking at the russell 2000 nice little rising price channel there had been uh, price had been traveling in a sideways little sub correction price channel the red diagonal line going across my screen out here this one where my where my cursor is at that has held as resistance well guess what resistance no more and take a look at the daily chart assuming that today price closes above that you've also got your Taz market profile high inside the Dow. That uh, level is 18.050. As long as it closes above 18.050, it's broken above two areas of resistance. So that's the number to be watching inside the Dow future. And then, voila, what do we have? We've got the uh, NASDAQ. You know, Apple is going to be out with numbers after the uh, bell today, around 4.30. I believe the conference call at about 5 o'clock. So certainly it's going to have an impact in now the Dow, in now the uh, Russell, in now the, uh, Na and as well as the uh, NASDAQ. Well, we take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ was the first one. This was on uh, Thursday when price closed above. Uh, this was at the close, so coming in at 515 on that candle session. That's when the price had closed above the uh, its own consolidation, its own 200-point consolidation between 42.70 and 44.73. When you break above a consolidation, it gives you a price projection equal to or greater than the consolidation. 200 points on top of 44.73, that takes us to the 46.73 level. Look, at 46.89 becomes your 1 to 2. A to B equals C, D to the upside out here. Right now, we can see prices hit that 45.56 area. That is your 1 to 1.272. A to B equals C, D 
to the upside. No bearish reversal signal. At this stage of the game, we take a look at the daily contracts for each of these uh, futures for the indices out here. Their message is uh, unified across the board. We haven't had unified messages across the board. The uh, day, it's, day, it's, it's early in the trading session. It's only 1018. Things can change in how quickly? That's right in a heartbeat out there, the snap of my uh, fingers out there. Uh, but at this stage, this is what we're looking at. So we've got a currency pair that is headed north. That is fuel for the fire. We've got uh, breakouts inside these uh, inside these uh, patterns as we take a look at the daily charts out there. That sort of is the uh, message. Now, that's the message that I gave subscribers this morning out here. Normally, I wouldn't go through this in detail, but uh, I'm uh, a little bit frazzled, as you can tell. So frazzled out here. Ah, the system going down. Um, in any event, um, it's just recovery mode. Remember, life happens for us, not to us. Now, let's go check out. What do we want to check out? Let's go check out uh, Goldilocks. Gold is up 22 bucks out here. As we take a look at uh, gold, that's with the U.S. dollar index being up. Uh, oh, it's down uh, just a tad out here. Okay, so it's now down. But if we take a look at uh, gold, what is gold doing? Now, this is really interesting. Interesting. What gold did here on Friday was came right down to its, uh, I mean, almost to the tick. 1173.80 would have been the tick. The price got down to 1174.10. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good in my uh, uh, vocabulary out here, PDG. If we take a look at what that was, that was simply going from the low of March 17th to the high of April 16th. And you and I, we use that, that, that uh, wonderful ruler out there created by Leonardo de Fibonacci. Now, De Pisa, De Fibonacci, that 0.618 retracement. Right now, gold is trading right into resistance. P.S. De resistance. This is Steve Rhodes with TFN. When we get back, we'll go take a look at it. If you're long gold, you need to see not just the surge up to this level, but it needs to be beyond this area. This is Steve Rhodes. We'll be right back. Do you know the seven most critical factors that influence every decision you make and how not knowing these will jeopardize the health, the wealth, and the relationships you deserve? I'm Steve Rhodes, morning host at TFNN.com, and for the last quarter of a century, I've studied and used the secrets of human growth, the same formulas used by leaders of nations, billionaires and millionaires, and the most successful athletes on the planet. Would you like to break through any obstacle that gets in between you and the success you deserve? Would you like to turn fear into strength? If you could find a way to achieve, be fulfilled, and live a life of meaning, wouldn't you want to know the answer? I'll teach you the factors that control your state of mind and the drivers that impact every thought, emotion, behavior, and action we take in my new webinar, The Psychology of Trading. Join me for this two-part online event where I'll unveil the secrets to human pattern recognition because they're not what you think. And soon, you'll have the health, the wealth, and the relationships you deserve. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on The Psychology of Trading to begin your journey now. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 75, S&P's up 7, composites up 23 points. Before we went to that break, we were taking a look at uh, gold. Now, if we take a look at uh, gold out here, we can see this nice little descending price channel that has evolved. We're looking at the uh, June contract right now. This is uh, starting really with the uh, session, the open of the session from January 23rd. Uh, we're uh, using our uh, body of the candle versus the uh, wick. The wicks are nothing more than the extreme emotional. It's kind of like the temper tantrum out there. What you and I like to take a look at is the uh, body of the candle. It truly is the essence of price. Uh, we can come up with uh, three or more points of contact that helps us to identify either good horizontal uh, levels of support or resistance or diagonal. In this case here, we're looking at a diagonal level of uh, resistance out here. So gold has had a nice move. Now, gold is neither overbought nor oversold. If you take a look at the uh, relative strength indicator, right now price out at 51.36. So it could go either way. We haven't seen any kind of over sold bounce out here we would have seen that much like we saw back here at the lows back in uh, march when price when that relative strength indicator got below the uh, 30 level out there so what we're seeing here today is not just simply an oversold bounce so therefore if uh, gold truly is going to have some legs what's it going to do it's going to go ahead and break through this descending price channel out here that right now is uh, gold's price at 1199 probably the top of the channel is probably 1180 probably 1198 1197, somewhere right around there. I can't be exact, but we're really, you can see where price has moved right up into that area now. If it can get above this area, then the very next signal that you're going to be looking for is can gold clear that 1215? Can it also clear that swing point from April 6th, that high of 1224 out here? Uh, if it can't, price, look, price could very easily be contained within this descending price channel out here inside of gold. It's a key level of resistance. Let's see uh, during the day. Obviously, we'll check in uh, tomorrow, see if this area uh, can uh, get blown through. If it does, then that is a, a good message for Goldilocks out there. If we take a look at uh, silver, see if we can get any kind of message here inside silver. Uh, silver, this is the daily contract we're looking. What you and I had done in recent days is we had taken a look at its descending price channel. I've got so many things out here. Let me get rid of the eight. Let's get rid of some of these lines because otherwise it becomes uh, pretty darn hard to actually follow along even for me okay now we've got it now when you take a look at silver what has silver done today silver has busted through that descending price channel with a, a nice bar a nice little bull sash uh, candle uh, that is out here this is taken back one two three four almost five five days actually worth of uh, moves to the uh, downside inside of silver silver is going to run up probably to the 1660 uh, level that's the uh, that's its old taz market profile support area the old support oftentimes can become resistance if we take a look at going from the uh, top down meaning the top swing point to the uh, low of friday what we can also see is what uh, 
silver is done, it's at the 0 0.382 retracement, 16.26. This is where people usually get off of the elevator, off of a uh, move out here. So uh, if we can, now it's coming into this area with a wide-ranging bar. No idea what the bar is going to look like at the uh, close today, but typically markets do not end on wide-ranging bars. So if, in fact, the silver closes at around 16.25 or higher out there, that's going to bold well for the next move, that next move taking it into that uh, 16, 69 ish area, 16, 60 level. That is on silver. I might have said gold if I did. My apologies. That is silver that we just took a uh, look at out there. Um, now let's go take a look at, well, it's a minute 50. We won't do it. I'll do this when we come back from the uh, break out here. Uh, if we take a look at today's opening range, I see we've got uh, Larry is uh, logged in out here. You know what a great book he's got out there about the opening range. I just was going through just a number of different uh, materials over the weekend, ran across that and said, how come it is that I don't even talk about the opening range out here in the uh, morning uh, show? Now that opening range really being that first 30 minutes of trading out here, this is the ES Mini. This is the 10-minute chart out here so we're kind of incorporating really three different at least three different we can incorporate four let's incorporate four different fact five let's incorporate a lot of factors into uh, into this little chart out here number one if we take a look at the opening range on the es mini that runs between 21 13 50 and 21 19 25 at this stage any break above 21 19 25 that's going to uh, give us a signal of a move higher how much higher that's where we got to take a look at other patterns out here we can also see at that same price level of 21 19 25 that happens to be on our 10 minute chart out here our taz market profile resistance uh, level out here uh, if we're looking at this 10 minute chart at this morning at about 3 30 a.m that's when the bulls came out they formed that nice little hammer candle out here and then it took until about 4 10 when we saw that uh, most recent uh, not most recent we saw a nice little TAS market profile uh, set up. That was the bullish formation. Once price got above that level, that was at uh, 530 this morning out here. Price just continued to move higher. Looks like an A to B equals CD to me is what it did off of that hammer candle out there. There's that pattern for you. That's using at least a few of all the wonderful signals here at TFNN. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. If you're like me, you see the world's emerging nations as a very real opportunity, as these countries and their economies are developing right before our eyes. And you can rest assured that Everbank has spotted this opportunity too. In fact, they just recently unveiled the new five-year market-safe future economy CD. This is a CD that could really deliver, but you only have until May 7th to take advantage. Consider the facts. If the future economy's currencies beat the U.S. dollar over the CD term, you'll get all the upside. And should they lose? No worries. There's zero downside risk here, as you still get back 100% of your deposited principal. Intrigued yet? The May 7th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone phone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 71. S&P is up uh, 7 points. Uh, so, okay, let's take a look at So you've got Apple coming out with the uh, earnings after the uh, bell out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures contract. Let's look at the uh, – let's look at – Four different time frames. Well, at least let's, yeah, let's look at four different time frames. Let's look at uh, daily five hour energy chart brought to us by uh, Saratoga Bob in our Tigers Den. The 120 minute chart, that's the uh, two hour time frame as well as the 30 minute. Let's go see what type of uh, signals we've got out here, see if we've got things that are somewhat in unison with each other. So let's start with the daily contract out here for the, uh, for the NASDAQ. Now, the very first thing that we can see, well, let me do this here. Let me, I'll cut back and I'll write that. So the very first thing that we can see with regard to price right now. Now, is that from a daily standpoint, price has been rising. It's been doing it with less relative strength out there. Those are the uh, black diagonal lines going across my screen out here. Now, that's not a reason to short something, but it is a warning message. It's a yellow, it's a yellow light. It's something that has to be resolved in the market. Now, does it have to resolve? No. But if it gets resolved and we see some type of bearish reversal signal, then that's where you start to see you know, some pretty decent retracements. It's only just simply a caution. It's like, uh, you know, it's like knowing that you're going to go out on the water and there's going to be uh, potential some clouds, some uh, potential, uh, some pot a potential storm or something along those lines. So that's our early warning radar system uh, brought to you. That's our Doppler. That's our Doppler radar here at TFNN. That's the first thing that's out here. Second thing is really off of this uh, low out here. Uh, let me get my cursor out here because you're saying what low, Steve? Uh, we're talking about the uh, low from January 16th. This is the daily chart out here. You can see it made you know, a nice move, four waves to the uh, downside as we take a look at the uh, Chapman wave. Made a nice little bullish reversal candle as it did that little piercing candle. So that's really our low for our what? For our A to B equals CD to the upside in order to come up with some price projections. So we start off with that uh, low. We come all the way up here. Looks like either to the trading session. I can't tell on this whether it's the March 2nd or it is the uh, March 3rd. Looks like it's the March 2nd level. Uh, well, in fact, I can't tell. It's going to be March 2nd. What, what the heck am I drinking or thinking out here? That's your B point. Your C point all the way down here um, on the uh, trading session, the day of April the 1st. Of course, as the market was moving lower on April 1st, no bullish reversal signal. But we had two nice hammer candles at these lows. One from the trading day of March 6th, a second uh, from the trading day of April the uh, 3rd out here. So we got some nice hammers uh, that were out there hammering out that 
that bottom. That's our that's our C point of our A to B equals C to the upside. That says that what the uh, Nasdaq, what we ought to expect, the pattern that is out there. Forget about the fact that it's moving higher with a little bit less relative strength right now. That can be resolved. That at this stage here, the price target becomes 4701, 4700.75. If we're going to uh, be exact out there, that becomes your first target. Remember when we took a look at the uh, daily chart. That's 4740. We took a look at the uh, daily chart out here back on this panel and come back here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was using a little shorter term uh, A to B equals CD pattern. This was just simply coming off of April the uh, 1st. What was I coming off of on this one back here? This was all the way back to January 16th of uh, 2015 out here. So we've got larger A to B equals CD. Here's that was this pattern right here coming off of this candle. So let's put this, let me put this A to B equals CD because there are multiple A to B equals CD patterns with inside of the uh, NASDAQ out here. I ought to turn that one into a, a yellow color, but... Uh, but nonetheless, we can see it. It's the larger one. There's your 4696. Now, the interesting thing here, when we take a look at the uh, daily chart here for the NASDAQ, at least when I do, pattern-wise, you've got a 200-point consolidation breakout. 200 points add to 4473 gives us that 4673 level. We've got a large A to B equals CD, which has formed out here. That gives us a price projection of 4696. How does it that these things all kind of work out this way? And we're getting, so there's, there's, we, we're seeing multiple patterns out here. Let me go ahead and get rid of the larger A to B equals CD now. We've got the smaller A to B equals CD pattern out here. Tells me that this move off of the uh, lows back out here on April 17th is mucho grande strong. How do you say strong in the Spanish out there? Maybe somebody can help me out there. But uh, it is a strong, it is stronger on that C to D leg than it is on A to B. That says higher price after price clears this uh, 45 56 level out there. So in this case here, this this is giving us a pretty nice uh, gusto, mucho gusto. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, really strong. Caliente, I don't know. Oh, we're having uh, we're having uh, we're having a difference of opinions out here. But uh, hey, I've got to go with uh, Caliente. That'd be hot. Okay, hot, hot, hot. Uh, oh, Caliente. Okay. Well, in any event, uh, I'll leave that. I'll leave that for. Uh, I'll, we'll wait till we get some unanimity out here. But in any event, what you're interested in is, hey, where is price headed to? You know, this says that that the market's going to respond positively to Apple's news out here. Hey, there's no guarantees. I can't tell you. I'm just looking at the patterns out here. So if our patterns that we're taking a look at are leading indicators as to what's going on, well, if I come back out here and we take a look at that daily chart, we'll take a look at uh, one more time uh, this pattern out here. Then we'll go down to the five-hour energy drink, drink chart out here. Uh, this says that we are likely only in the second wave out here on the daily chart because we had a nice, uh, nice Chapman wave count all the way down to form that uh, fifth wave out here. That was back on April 1st off of that low. This says we're really only in the second wave. So you've got a wave pattern says it wants to get to higher price. You've got a daily A to B equals CD says it wants to get to higher price. You've got a breakout of a consolidation pattern. It says it wants to get to higher price. Hello? This is not my opinion, folks. I'm I'm sharing with you the chart. So if you think I'm looking at the charts incorrectly, please, you know, help me out here. Call in. I'm just, I, you know, and a lot of times I'll get emails from folks and they'll be like, you know, how can I be so bullish or how can I be so bearish or, or you know, things of that sort. And the reality is I'm just looking at these chart patterns and four eyes are way better than two. So if there's something that I'm overlooking, man, it would really help our audience and help me out as well. Uh, out there. But uh, so far on the uh, daily charts, those are the patterns inside of the uh, NASDAQ. Can the NASDAQ go ahead and lift all tie, all boats higher? Yeah, the answer is it most certainly can. The Russell can't do that, but the NASDAQ certainly can. If we take a look at our five hour energy drink uh, chart out here, this is the uh, 300 minute time frame. If we come all the way back to a low that was formed back here, this is at 2300 hours. This is back on March 31st out here. You can see this thing marched up, made a nice seventh inning stretch pattern out here. It formed that seventh inning stretch, running into resistance on the five-hour chart. This was back at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon between 2 and, no, just, yeah, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on April the 13th. What did price do? Corrected itself, made a bit of a retracement. I believe it was a 0.618 retracement. I'm not going to go measure that because the tool on here. On this charting application isn't as, as easy, isn't it? In any event, as easy to use as on the e-signal application. Nonetheless, makes a uh, third wave count to the uh, downside. There's your A to B equals CD pattern inside of it. If we take a look at 
at it. This is coming back using, you know, a different uh, swing point, different sets of swing points, but it still gives us the message. Has anything been, uh, has anything been hit here? Yeah, you've got your 1 to 1.272 level. 45.56 is the end number. I think even uh, our uh, five-hour energy drink person posted that, if I'm not mistaken, inside the uh, den. 45.56, the actual high so far that's been hit. Oops, don't, don't do that to me. The actual high that's been hit so far was uh, 45, 55, 50 out there. So that completes uh, that pattern. But does that mean that that's where price ends? Look at that move on that C to D leg. That's a thing of beauty if you are a bull out here. That's an ugly thing if you are a bear out here, if you're a bear inside of the uh, NASDAQ, because there's no signal whatsoever that uh, that part of the move is over. There's no bearish reversal signal. Price is up above its TAS market resistance level. That's at about the 45, 41-ish uh, area. And to boot, if you take a look at this, this is where it really says there's some huge strength out here. Come off of the low. Let's just use the uh, wave patterns out here. There's no price relative strength divergent pattern on the five-hour chart. If you come off of the, and we know it with the A to B equals CD pattern, if you come off of the low out here, this is the low that began at uh, or at 5:15 on April the 17th. You Start taking a look at your wave counts out here. Well, coming into on Friday, coming into a Friday's a close out here, you actually went ahead and or it, not you, but the five hour chart went ahead and made that seventh inning stretch. But guess what? Whereas in this past one out here, where this, and I really do think it was a, a seventh inning move out there. Now, we've got to come all the way back here, in my opinion, back at about 9 o'clock in the morning to restart our count out here. But the reality is this this should have held as resistance. We should have not seen that level get pierced as it did get pierced at about 3 o'clock this morning out here. Once that got pierced, boy, that was telling you just simply how strong the market is. So on the five-hour chart, we're probably only in trace, only in wave number three to the upside out here. We've got the larger A to B equals CD pattern that it is contending with. So on the five-hour energy chart, nothing bearish about that. Let's go take a look at the uh, two-hour chart out here. Still energy with inside the two-hour chart. What does this show us? Hmm. Guess what? It had its own wave pattern as well, and it took out that seventh inning stretch without any problem. Now, really, uh, the market should have been able to sell off from there. That's uh, Let me give you the time frame. When did that come in? That candle actually formed at 4 o'clock. That's it by uh, 6 o'clock, you know, all of a sudden from uh, 8 a.m., uh, 6 to uh, 8 a.m., that uh, level was taken out. Strong move underway here. Um, you know, I'm not sure the, you know, when I take a look at different uh, wave counts out here, you could perhaps maybe on the uh, five hour, maybe you could make the case, maybe you could make the case that uh, it could be in a fourth wave to the upside or just simply wave number one. The bottom line is that this is a strong move going on. I'm going to say that the uh, daily chart, the A to B equals CD pattern, trumps everything out there. We're not seeing any kind of reversal signals. How about on the, uh, how about on the uh, 30 minute chart out here? 30-minute chart, even where I had my uh, counts, uh, my wave counts. It's, so now you do have a price relative strength divergent pattern that is out here. And if we blow this up on our screen, that's where price moves higher, does it with less, uh, does it with less relative uh, strength out there. So the 30-minute chart, that is prevalent. But there ought to be some pretty good support down here at about the 45, uh, 40 area, 45, 44 as we speak right now. Um, so everything here really points to, uh, if you're going to say, what is it that the charts are saying as of 1045 with regard to how the market's going to perceive the Apple news out here uh, it's uh, it's pretty much unified across the board that's okay it can go ahead and prove me wrong it's really not me it's really the chart patterns that are out here so it's going to do what it's going to do regardless of what these chart patterns say but if you are looking for early signals this is saying, as of 10.45 a.m., that price is going to go ahead and move higher. We'll know for sure come tomorrow morning when we take a look at the pre-markets. Of course, you'll know uh, during the uh, Tom O'Brien show from 4 to 5. It, uh, you know, Whether it's going to be wild and wooly out there, that I don't know. Maybe it's not going to have a significant impact, but it certainly does have from a weighting structure. So that is really taking a look at the uh, NASDAQ, which I think is the most important thing for us to be looking at as we speak right now because of the weighting structure with inside that. Apple because of what's going on, uh, because just because of the earnings report coming out after the uh, day out there. Hopefully that assists you in your moves out here. Look, you don't have to be bullish, but don't be bearish because the signals aren't out here. Now, maybe you've got the ability to call the top. 
call the top tick or what have you, then that's cool. Then then uh, just use a stop out here. As long as you use a uh, stop, uh, then you are at least you've got some form of uh, safety out there. And then it, for you, it's really just a trade. So there's nothing wrong with that. But right now, just got to give you the signals as we see them, as they are presenting themselves in the uh, markets. Now, what I haven't done, which we normally do, because I'm, I'm really off kilter here uh, from the standpoint of uh, the system going down and not doing the first hour. So some of the stuff that I'm going through right now is really what I would have gone through during the first hour just to help me gauge, hey, now what's going on in the market is open. We know what's going on in the futures markets. What were they communicating to us? Now what's going on inside of the uh, indices or the index ETFs, which is much easier for you guys at home to follow along with. And if we take a look at the uh, at this, here's what we know with certainty. You've got a B point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. That had formed inside of the Qs on March the 2nd. That swing had 22 million shares. You gapped up over it with 32 million shares on Friday. That's a, a big move. That's a confirmation of what? An A to B equals CD to what price point? A minimum of 114.30. Not a maximum, but the next level could be 117.04. So just simply from a volume standpoint, if we didn't even know that Apple was coming out with earnings, if we were just agnostic to Apple and we were just saying, hey, what's going on at swing points? Guess what? The Qs took out that swing with volume. That gives us a confirmed A to B equals CD. Does price have to get up there? The answer is, of course, not. But that is what the price projection is. That's what our technical indicators are telling us. If we go take a look at the Russell 2000, the IWM, what is it doing? Look, it's got several, two to speak of. Several is what, three or more? So it's got a couple. It's a couple, yeah, a couple is two, right? So it's got a couple A to B equals CD patterns. It's got a couple times that it's gotten above its B point. The March 23rd level right now is what we're looking at. 17 million shares there. Cross with 37 million on April 15th. Today's volume, so-so, about 4.5 million shares, a little over an hour of trading. You know, maybe that's about a 20 million share day as it moves into the April 15th high out there. But uh, does it have to take out April 15th in order for it to move higher? The answer is no. Any close today? Inside 125.92 suggests at least you get 127.13 uh, as a, a test, but more likely a move to the 128.03 level. If we take a look at what's going on inside of the uh, SPY, inside of the SPY, right now that's up uh, 54 cents, 16.6 million shares out here. The SPY right now today is trying to take out its swing point from February 25th. It's been a long ride, a long ride to get up to that level. That's at 2.12.25. Four. Volume there, 73 million shares. The SPY has struggled with regard to volume. Well, it did okay on April 23rd. On Friday, only 61 million shares. So far today, 16 million. 16 times 6. That'd be enough to actually take out that February 25th high at 212.24. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 47, S&P's up 4, Composite's up uh, about 12 points, Russell's up about uh, 270. Moy Fuerte. Hopefully I have uh, properly pronounced that. Thank you to all the emails that uh, came in assisting me out there. It's nice to have wing men and wing women out there uh, to assist each of us. And, you know, we can't do any of this stuff by ourselves. So this is a uh, all for one, one for all kind of a, a deal. So muy fuerte, I believe. Very strong. And that's what we were talking about when we were looking at the uh, charts there for the uh, NASDAQ, looking at the daily, looking at the 300-minute um, chart. The, five, the two hour chart, the 30 minute chart out there. If we quickly go back to our opening range out here, we can see at this stage here, price now just really traveling inside that uh, 30 minute uh, open from 9 a.m. The high of 9 to between 9 a.m. as well as the high, the, the low between 9 a.m. out here. And that's really the range there, 21.13 to 21.19. And of course, uh, folks, if you want to, if you want to, there's a number of different uh, uh, ways that you can trade the opening range. But, uh, you know, the first person that turned me on to that was uh, none other than our man Larry Pesavento. He's got a great little book out there. I had it down the other, where is it? Uh, uh, must be in another seating area. So I was just simply uh, going through some books out there, ran across it. And so maybe we'll go ahead and incorporate that into uh, to the uh, second hour of the uh, show. Now, what does that mean? At this stage here, prices just simply come back to a level of support if we take a look at its TAS market profile. In fact, the market profiles on the 10-minute chart suggested that once price couldn't uh, break through the uh, 2119 level, that uh, price would come down and test this uh, support area. Now, you get a close below 21.13.50, which is a volume 
why, says we really ought to, because that swing point has got 29,000 contracts. You're already 25,000, and there's uh, four minutes to uh, go out there. So that says, hey, you got a bit of a, a retracement out here. If you're a day trader, intraday trader, you don't have the message here just yet. But if you get a close below 21.13.50, says you likely have some lower prices coming at us. And then you just go ahead and maybe take a look at Fibonacci levels and so forth. Could actually be the uh, change in trend for the uh, day out here. And that's really one of the benefits of utilizing that tool. But we'll see if and why well, I won't be able to see because I'm off the air before 11 a.m. But 21.13.50 is the number you want to be looking at come 11 a.m. Uh, on the uh, uh, 11 a.m. sharp. If we take a look at the VIX index, the VIX index here moving a tad higher, trading at 1264. Of course, real damage will not happen in the market until that gets above 1439. Other ways, it's a market that moves higher to sideways when the VIX is below that 50 day exponential moving average. A quick look at the summation decks. What do we have out here? Uh, everything looks uh, pretty good. Uh, it's above zero, so that's the uh, most important thing. New York Stock Exchange is looking mighty strong here. New York Stock Exchange uh, gapping up above its high from uh, April the uh, 16th out here. Maybe that's setting up another A to B equals CD to the upside inside of uh, that indice. If I look at the uh, composite, though, let me see. What, what's interesting here in the composite, which is up what? The composite is NASDAQ composite is up only nine points. Okay, well, that makes sense because when I take a look at its summation index, it's uh, it ain't uh, behaving properly. It's certainly not up at uh, new highs, but we'll see. This, is a, this indicator here means more come the end of the trading day than it does at 10.57 a.m. But at this stage here in the uh, game, it's still in bullish formation. It's hard to fight markets when the uh, trend in our summation index is pointed to the upside out here. you got to have some kind of uh, pattern out there to go ahead and sell that uh, top tick. So, folks, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, sorry about that uh, first hour, but the system seems to be up and running. Of course, the system that's always up and running is the uh, rest of the folks here at TFNN. So in the batter's box, or coming up to the batter's box, we got our man. Basil Chapman, he's going to hit a homer. Hey, if you haven't had a chance, get on over to the homepage of TFN.com. His workshop begins this evening, I believe. I'm going to attend. The question is, why aren't you? You really should, folks. There's nothing better than all the tools that everybody here shares with you at TFNN. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you manana. Take care, folks. Basil Chapman has just announced two live workshops that he'll be hosting April 27th and May 5th that only subscribers to his opening call will gain access to. On April 27th, Basil will host a 45-minute live online workshop, The Essentials of the Chapman Wave, where he'll teach the basics of the Chapman Wave notation that Basil created and uses daily in his trading and newsletter recommendations. On May 5th, Basil will host a second 45-minute workshop, where this time he'll revisit the 1929 market comparison webinar and provide his attendees with an updated take on the socio-economic trends Basil has spotted currently taking place. If you're an opening call subscriber already, then your seat is already reserved. If not, then sign up for a 30-day free trial to the opening call today. You get a month of Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, along with two live workshops coming up. Don't miss out on this offer. Sign up for Basil Chapman's opening call newsletter today on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.